Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Here again with Brett, coming from uh, sunny California. And we were lucky enough to get some videos sent from the, the World Cup over in Athens from my good friend Jamie Ingram, who's there competing, doing a great job. And the men's 100 fly was today, which uh, we both had athletes, or previous mm. athletes, ex-athletes, whatever you want to call it, in that race. And there's a bit of banter between the two of us, who was going to get the touch. Your boy, obviously, is... Uh, Cody Simpson. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, he's at the World Cups for the first time in his career, and he's up against some of the biggest names in swimming. Um, Chad LeClow, Michael Andrew, uh, they're, they're all in this event here, and it's, and it's a cracker. Uh, Chad's coming back from illness, so we know he's not at his best. He, uh, he, he qualified in one of the outside lanes, so we, you know, Sonny knows and I know that Chad's a racer. He's a born racer, actually. Um, and he'll love that. He'll love, he'll love you saying that. He's a Chad, born that was for you. That was for you, Chad. <laughs> he's a born racer, but listen, I'll tell you what, uh, we knew he was going to be faster at night because that's what he does. He just figures it out. So let's, uh, let's have a look at this thing and see how they do, eh? Yeah, well, we, we spoke to Chad just before the race yeah. and... You know, Cody made the final last week in Berlin, Chad didn't, and, and Cody added a little bit of time. He went in as a top three seed. He added a little time, ended up coming, I don't know, fifth or sixth. Um, and Chad didn't make the final, he'd come ninth. So Chad makes the final eighth this morning, and I'm like, Brett, he's gonna beat Cody. And Brett's like, no, I'm like, look, Cody got slower last week in the final. I'll tell you one thing about Chad, he goes faster at night. And he's like, faster enough, he will drop at least 0.6, maybe more and um so yeah we've got chad out in lane one mm. uh chad's in lane one your boy's in lane is he lane five in lane five mate yeah next to michael andrews yeah big big swim here next to michael andrews he was good he was on not far off his pb 52 one in the morning chad was 52 nine chad has a pb of 50.5 cody has a pb of 51 eight now 51 eight i believe is his best uh, just for a little context too here they're in a, they're in athens right yeah lane five cody simpson i raced in athens Actually, lane five in uh, the olympic final Olympic final so a little uh, little history there well, let's watch it we're just going to call this as we see it we're not going to be too serious here nothing too technical we're just going to have a good time watching this race um cody looks good getting up on the blocks very composed very relaxed i like that chad chad's looking good I never liked Chad's dive. It's so janky, but then he hits the underwaters and look at him go under. He must be first to 15. I think Chad was first to 15, right? Maybe yeah, Michael. Yeah. Chad and Michael. Yep. Um, Cody usually gives a little bit more away here in the first 25, so I was very surprised. It was kind of right on Michael's shoulder here. Chad's probably equal with Cody, so yep. they're going into the wall about equal. They look pretty good. Michael looks great. He, I mean, obviously out in 23... Six. Six, six, yeah, six, yeah. Like, like looking fast. But I told Cody, let's work this third 25, and here we go. Look at this third 25. Oh, he pulled up on him. Cody's on the waters look real sharp there. I, I mean, I, I told him he was being too soft off that wall there. I said, get on the third 25. You'll make up ground there. Yeah. I'm so glad he did that. Chad looks like he's uh, struggling a little bit to close yeah. this race up. Ch Chad fights. You can see Chad. Yep. Chad's yep. hurting, but yep. he's gritty here. And then, oh, Cody ah, was just a bit long. A little long on the wall there. I think if he had have just nailed that touch. Let's just, let's just look at that. A little that. long. Let's look at that touch again, because I, 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 I think Matt Sates actually sneaks the win in lane six. One That's out, right, I forgot that, yeah. One outside, yeah. one outside of Cody. But let's just look. So Matt Sates in six, he's the winner. Cody goes in now. So Cody takes his last stroke. Michael Andrews still on the recovery. Oh, Matt Sates just did the short, oh. short, sharp, quick. He just got his hand on that wall first. Yeah, Matt timed it well. Oh, Matt timed it really well. Matt actually looks a little short, to be honest, but he yeah. took that. He took a short, sharp, fast, direct, kept his head down, which was key. Yeah. And got on. It was more of like a Michael Phelps finish in 2008 yeah. right there, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, So it was 51.82 for Matt there. And then Michael Andrew actually tied with Cody for the silver. Um, 51.92. 51 yeah. So... Uh, and, and, and Chad was just behind at the top there. He was 52-2. So he did drop 0.7 from the morning. Actually, yeah. Ch Chad dropped the most from the morning than anyone in the field, which is, is great to see. He's a born racer. But um, that was, this is one of the biggest swims of Cody's life individually, right? Yeah, listen, I got some messages after the race from Cody. He said he's felt more relaxed than ever, which was great because now he's putting himself in these situations where he's in the ready room with some of the best athletes in the world on a consistent basis now. He's putting himself in the middle of the pool. He's racing. I mean, look at him. He's gone to Olympic trials. He's gone to um, uh, Commonwealth Games, World Championship trials, excuse me. Commonwealth Games, he's competed for Australia in. He's going to the World Cups now. So it's like he's putting himself in these positions where he's up against the best swimmers in the world. This, this meet, this series of meets, it's just key for him. I, I told him, I was like, mate, you've got to go and get more racing at the, at the top end. 
And, and the word he gave back to me was, I felt more relaxed today than ever. And that's what experience gives you, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely that. I think ultimately we're gonna get some great racing over the, over the next couple of days. Today was brilliant. Tomorrow will be fantastic. And then where's the last leg at? Uh, Budapest. Everyone says Budapest. that's a fast pool. Have you been, you been yeah. to that pool? Of course I have, yeah, brilliant pool. Yeah, very, very fast. I think, I think these guys with the experience going into that and the racing conditions, I think we're gonna see some really fast swimming in Budapest. Yeah, so this will this will be great. Yeah. Call it, Chad, Chad or Cody in oh. Budapest. I'm calling Chad 100%. Chad's winning it. Chad's gonna win Budapest. Oh, winning it. Chad's gonna oh. win the 100 fly. And what did he finish here? 52-2, fifth six. Position? Six? So he's, so he's going from sixth to first in the next race. He went from ninth to sixth, there you go, fifth. Ninth to fifth. fifth, and he's gonna drop four more places to first. Okay. He just dropped 52-6 to 52-2. He'll drop to 51-7, okay. 51-8, and he'll take the win. Okay, all right, calm down, big fella. All right. Um, Who are you calling? Come on, make a call. Cody's gonna beat him. Cody's, so gonna, Cody's go, gonna win. Cody's gonna go three for three. Three for three. And listen, if it stays like this, I'm gonna say Cody gets his hand on the wall first. Yeah, Cody's gonna get his first international win in Budapest. There you go. How about that? Made some calls here. You can come and tell us in the comments who was right, who was wrong. Maybe we're both wrong. Maybe Michael Andrew wins. Who no. knows? We'll see. Maybe Matthew Sates wins. Another South African. Cheers for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. See you on the next one. Oh, look at the guns. <laughs>